Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today is Wednesday the 31st of July 2013 and I'm just doing a quick web webcam vlog again, yet again, uh, because I'm in the middle of learning loads of stuff um, with the Unity uh, engine uh, programming and stuff. Um, and it's so cool. I'm really excited about using this now. I figured I'd dip my toe in and I've just got completely sucked into like loads of uh, tutorials and stuff showing off all the things you can do and kind of the general user interface and how um, and how brilliant it is basically. Um, so I figured I'd just do a quick vlog this way to get it up quickly so I don't have to take too much time out because otherwise with the other ones with my 7D I have to take about like 20 minutes out to have it upload and everything um, with this camera it's a lot quicker because the file's smaller. So um, so what else? Also today, I, I had more feedback on the rules for my dice game on uh, the Board Game Geek forum, and um, I've taken the previous rules down because people were still giving me feedback on them, um, which is great, but because I'd already decided I'm definitely going to... Um, definitely going to change them. I don't really want to waste people's time um, until I've decided how I'm going to change it and then I'll and then I'll get more feedback kind of thing um, so but yes ama amazing feedback I'm absolutely absolutely blown away especially coming from YouTube you know with my other channel where you you don't exactly get um, constructive feedback and you get some very uh, destructive comments um, and stuff to actually find a community where people are really really constructive and helpful um, and even you know when it seems a bit harsh they're like really apologetic and they're like oh please don't see this as too harsh but you know and then they give you the rundown and it's brilliant and it's um, and I think it's actually good having the YouTube experience of um, it makes you a little bit bulletproof and there's always people like um, apologizing at the end of very constructive but very, very harsh and to the point um, analysis saying like oh I hope I hope you know this doesn't you know upset you or anything kind of thing and it's very tempting to say no look I do YouTube I'm you know it doesn't <laughs> nothing upsets me it's you know especially if it's really really constructive and useful which all the stuff is so anyway um, so that's really great however I mean, the downside of that is there is a whole bunch of stuff I want to change about the rules based on feedback, and uh, but there's also some really good ideas as well. But basically, I've got to do some really hard thinking about the rules to make them good, and um, so it's a bit of a setback, and it's a kind of a little bit demoralising. But I recognise that it's just. Um, the natural progression of most projects and because I'm determined to finish this one I will just build it up again and um, and in hindsight I know that through the develop development so far the rules is the kind of one area that I've kind of neglected a little bit while concentrating on all the other things to make sure it can be done the rules have kind of been the last thing I've thought about which is uh, which now shows a lot. So now I've actually got to really. Now I know that this game can be produced and can be made, and I'm confident with all the business side of it. And I've designed little icons and stuff, and I'm confident with those. Um, I can actually concentrate on making making it a really good game, and then um, and then it'll be great. So I just keep going and not give up. Um, so and. Uh, the other thing with learning all this stuff about Unity, which has kind of been a distraction today and kind of been me, something I've been wanting to look into for a while. So just taking a break from the rules, just to take a breather before I get back into them and trying out Unity, is I could use Unity to do a kind of virtual playtest um, thing anyway, um, which would be really useful. Cause, I mean, one of the feedbacks I got today was someone saying, oh, well, you need lots of playtesting. And in their world, they were like, oh, of course, you know, to get, you need to find lots of people, like go to lots of conventions and stuff and get sit down with real people. But of course, um, this is feedback from people who aren't aware that 
um, I have a large internet audience and that I'm also familiar with programming small games. So actually, I feel quite confident that I can get thousands and thousands of players testing the game virtually. Which um, And I'll try and get real people to test it as well to kind of get that face-to-face -face interaction and see if they actually enjoy it or not. But you can get a lot of that information from uh, virtually, I think. So um, I think that's... I feel quite confident in that area as well. So, um, I think that's all I've got to talk about today. So I'll leave it there because I'm rambling a little bit. Um, but I hope you're well and I will see you tomorrow.